hello and welcome back to this channel so today's tutorial is going to be about creating this retro pattern in adobe illustrator so let's just get started open up illustrator and go to file and new change this to inches if you haven't and let's just create six inches into six inches you can create a file of any size that you want it's not mandatory that it has to be six inches let's go to color mode rgb and 150 ppi you can change this to CMYK if you're going to print this one. Click on create. Okay, so first off, we'll start with our design. For this, you're going to go ahead and right click and make sure you select the polygon tool. And you can actually click and drag to make a polygon, but we're not going to use that method here. We're going to double click so that we can control the size of the polygon. So the number of sides is going to be six. And for radius, please ignore the comma here. It's in the German format where decimal points are represented as commas. In your system, this should read as 2.09. So I'm just going to give 1.5 inches and click OK. So you get a polygon. So now it's time to create the basic element for your pattern. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on my pen tool. If you cannot see it, right click and pen tool. And you see these pink lines. These are very necessary while working on this. If you cannot see this, you can find it under view and smart guides make or you can press command or control u to turn it on now if you move you can see there's something called as a center which is basically the center of this uh, whole thing but still we'll just click on a selection tool and go to horizontal and vertical align you can find the align function under window and then align you can also use guides to make sure that you are at the center of the polygon so to do that, go to View, Rulers, Show Rulers. I'm just going to click and drag and make sure it coincides with these two points right here. You can also use half of this whole artboard that is three inches and just click and drag to bring in the other guide as well. And we'll keep it at three inches and this should be fine. Okay, so now the center is marked, so it's pretty easy. Now let's go to pen tool. Make sure this polygon is not selected because if it is selected, then when you come here, if you click on this, it gets deleted. So I'm just gonna undo that by pressing Command or Control Z. I can go back to my selection tool by pressing V. I will click outside. And now we can go to your pen tool. Now click and click in the center. When you have one ready, you can also go here and click again. Now hold your command or control and click outside and again click and if you're not very sure that you're clicking on the right path just hold your shift so that it makes a very straight line and then you are ready and you can press V on your keyboard to go outside. So now click and select everything and go to your shape builder tool and now if you go here just click on this click on this and these two just click and drag so both of these get combined to form one shape now we can go ahead to your selection tool click outside and you can see this all these three things are actually a shape and now you can color them so let me go ahead and bring in my colors okay so i have my colors ready so what we're going to do is we're going to create more than one single cube but i'll show you how to color them first so it'll be much simpler now select this part of this structure press i on your keyboard to get the eyedropper tool or you can click here as well and let's give this yellow and hold command or control to go back to your selection tool now press command or control to go to your selection tool and click on this one and release your command or control button to go back to eyedropper and let's give it another color do the same thing here let's give it another color click on your selection tool and then you will have this ready so this is our first structure so i'm just going to click and make a copy of it by pressing option or alt key click and drag and now we'll color this a little different let's make one more of this and let's color this a little bit different so now that we have colored it it's time to rearrange them but this is the time to decide whether you want this structure to be so huge or you want to decrease its size so let's go ahead and click and select all of these and reduce by holding our shift key down and reduce it a bit in size I think these are fine they're tiny and nice and now it's time to arrange this but before that click and select 
each of these cubes and press Command or Control G to group them. We're doing this so that it does not move when you're trying to work with the pattern. Okay, so let's arrange these cubes now. I think I would try to make it go sit here nice and snug. You see the pink line here? It's kind of helping you to decide if they are properly placed. And this one, uh, let's try to fit it in here. It kind of goes and snaps very nicely because you have something called a snap to point turned on. It's always better to do this. You could do any of these things. It's up to you. But for me, this is working fine. OK, so let's go ahead, click and select everything. It's time to make this into a pattern. Go to object, pattern and make. Click OK. So obviously you get something like this, which is weird. But let me go ahead and select one of these things. You could go ahead and select anything you want, brick by row, brick by column. But I think in this case, brick by row is something that fits in properly. But as you can see, there's a lot of white space. You can still use this pattern by having a background with a different color so that it'll look really nice as if it's spaced out. But that's not the goal here. So what I'm going to do is click on this pattern tile tool and it gives us this opportunity to edit the size of our pattern tile. So I'm just going to go ahead and click so that it goes ahead and snaps at this point. So everything sits very nice. And here as well, I'm just going to drag it. If you cannot pull by this line here, go to this corner and it'll let you fix this like this. So let's go ahead and do this again. And let's just go in a little and see if there's some gaps. As you can see, there's a bit of a gap here. And I think it's mainly because you need to bring this down a bit. OK, so that got fixed and everything got fixed. Everything looks neat. So I'm just going to click on done, which is hidden here. So click on done. So now it's time to check our pattern. So let's right click and go to rectangle tool and make a huge rectangle. And now for this, for fill, I'm just going to cancel this. We need to go to swatches. So you can go to window and then uh, swatches. And here you'll find your pattern. So yeah, this is basically how you create this pattern. I just expanded this. OK, so you can make a few variations to this pattern. Uh, that is, we have three different cubes here. But what happens when you have only two? So I'm just going to go ahead and take this out. Click and select these two. Go to Object, Pattern and Make. Click OK. And we're going to adjust this. Let it be grid because I think it looks fine. If you want, you can do this. But I think grid looks better. Let's click on the Pattern Tile tool. And let's edit this. Zoom in. Make sure everything is OK and click on done. Now let's go to our rectangle here. Click and click on the pattern and you can see how it changed. So it looks a lot different now. So you can actually arrange these cubes. For example, I could go ahead and put this here and then I could create one more. I could change this color to maybe this one. And now you can try to create a pattern. And click done. Let's go ahead, click on this and click on pattern. So yeah, it'll create a completely different pattern. So you can arrange these cubes with different colors and create some really good looking patterns. And if you want to extract these patterns, you can just go to file and new and create however big you want your rectangle to be. For example, I can say 20, centimeter, 20 inches into 20 inches. Click create. You just go to your previous file, click on the rectangle, copy it by pressing command C. Come to your new file, press Command V to paste it. Let's delete this and now go to Rectangle tool. Click and create a rectangle. And then obviously you select the swatch. And once you have this ready, I'm just going to go to File, Export and Export As. And in here, you can say Use Artboard and give it like this and export it. And it'll obviously ask you these questions. Select High PPI if you want a really good quality and click on OK. Let's go look at the file. So this is basically the file that you created. You can see there's a little bit of gap because I wasn't being very careful. Please don't do that. And yeah, your pattern is ready.
I'll just show you the one that I created. You can use it for wrapping papers or even as a background on your, I don't know, desktop. It just looks pretty cool actually. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'll leave all the colors in the description box below. And in the next video, I'll teach you how to create a pattern from a pattern using this video as the base. So I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.